fuck it. It's do or die regardless. Today's Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021. November 2, if you want to get proper. November 2, 2021. My name is Alex AP with another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Fuck it. Let me just get in. Let me just get in. Let me let me hit it. Natural law versus corporate law. What the fuck? Why the fuck? Who who the fuck? Exactly. Those are questions. Those are the real questions. Those are real questions that ought to be asked before you even bounce off of the porch and think you want to play this game. Think and even contemplate being a player in this game. You want to ask yourself, why? What's the difference? Why me? Why you? (laughs) It ain't hard to connect the dots. I mean, we look at... uh, humankind's empirical understanding of what it means to exist and you know nature is forever natural law is eternal it's infinite it's evolutionary it's revolutionary it's innovative it's unceasing It won't stop. It will not stop ever. (laughs) Meanwhile, corporate, that shit could end the snap of a finger. The snap of some fingers. Not a finger snap. That shit could end at the drop of a hat. That shit could end in the blink of an eye. (laughs) That shit could end Flexing your index One inch Get it? Shit could end at the squeeze of a trigger It's unstable It's precarious It's speculative My associates and I are just speculators in this game. That's why we have to deal with other people. That's why we have to deal with God in all of its forms, the good and the bad, the message and the vehicle or the messenger also known as the messenger we have to deal with luck at least our share of it dirty or not putting hands on it lady luck lady fortuna She could be freaky. You be dirty enough, you be crooked enough to look straight from a certain angle and things will go right. Things will go right for you. And they have for a handful, two handfuls of people on this plane in my lifetime within this existence and sometimes luck is not enough sometimes pure luck is not enough whatever good it serves it just might not be enough it's why you need dirt 
It's why you need to manufacture, to fabricate, to orchestrate your own luck. That's dirty luck. <laughs> Motherfucking dirty luck club. Shit, I'll take bad luck over no luck any day. At least with bad luck, I know I have a chance. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Woo. At least, <laughs> at least with bad luck, I know I can get dirty and make it go my way. <laughs> oh, jeez. And sometimes I pray. Sometimes I don't need to. Sometimes hope is enough. Hope being going in unprepared. Operating on hope. And only exercising dirty luck. Improvising. Some folks call it improvisation. (laughs) Some folks... uh, understand improvisation as uh, being adaptable to social settings, being adaptable to variables, adapting easily, being able to run with variables. That's hope in action, if you ask me. You better fucking hope you don't run up against something you have not prepared for. Better hope you don't run up against something that dirty luck won't save you from. Dirty luck is like fucking skin of your teeth. Even the gift of gab can be stretched thin. You run out of words, don't know what to say, cat got your tongue. And that first choice, like I said, becomes your last resort, becomes your only option left. (laughs) and that's natural law at its barest at its most bare in its purest form that's natural law operating That's not to say that corporate law doesn't um, that's not to say that corporate law doesn't employ dirty luck. No, I phrased that wrong. That's not to say dirty luck can't be employed. In corporate law, in the land of corporate, doesn't mean that corporate law can't be employed inside corporate, and it is often. Dirt is plentiful, dirt is your friend. You have to learn how to work with dirt. Use a shovel, use a pick. Wear gloves, wear a hat, because the sun is hot. Or wear a mask. If the sun is not, not hot, get it? If it's not near you, if it's not 
in your face, if it's not present, okay, if it's dark, or if you're inside and you're on a mission, wear a mask, wear gloves. Point and final. <laughs> because natural law would dictate Natural law would dictate that when corporate starts coming unraveled, becomes unraveled, when corporate comes unraveled, all that's left is just cause and effect. Even without corporate raveling, it's cause and effect that causes corporate to come undone to uh, wind up and be dissolved. It's natural law. We just put this veneer on it as if we made it happen. On paper, it looks good. <laughs> that one's deep. On paper, it looks right. <laughs> We're just papering over natural law. On paper, you can form a legal entity, a legal person, a legal identity. Still bound by natural law. But it's a facade. It's a charade that the corporate veil can save you. That the corporate veil is bulletproof. And it's not. <laughs> That's just a saying. That's a colloquialism. <laughs> Nothing is impenetrable. Nothing is impermeable. Nothing, no one is invulnerable. Everything falls apart at its end when it's finished, when it's done. Such has been the case for hundreds, for thousands, of years, organizations, social or otherwise, have come and gone, formed and dissolved civilizations, entire nations of people with their history, with their culture, with their social norms, their mores. And all that's left, all that's left are the slight innovations. Is that dirty luck. The, the essence of their successes, because not even their successes, not even their riches, not even their treasures are apparent. Yeah, they might be buried in somebody's fucking vault. But even that motherfucker, that person, male or female, doesn't want to raise their hand and claim success for it. Lest they get a target pasted on their forehead. <laughs> that, that success? Is that success to you? That ain't shit. That bitch will die. Nobody will even know who they are. They wouldn't have left their personal print 
on nature. Natural law dictates that nature incorporates them. That to me is corporate. So when I say I represent corporate, when I say I represent money, I represent the flow of currency, the flow of innovation. That's what I'm getting at. It isn't just one entity. It's their aggregate. It's their finality. It's positive innovation for innovation's sake. You might have noticed that I've gone back to qualifying my nouns. Because I'm winding up this episode. Dissolving? Nah. Because there's always the next business cycle. (laughs) That's pretty much the end of season three. I believe we have one more left. I'll see if I can't get some time with uh, AR, catch up with them a little bit. But we got something planned. Got something nice planned. Got some uh, good works coming. If it all comes together. If we're able to uh, put these things into motion. You can follow us on Instagram. It's Corporate Cowboys. You'll recognize the profile picture if you want to like and subscribe. By all means, share this corporate love. Share the corporate love, man. Corporate's not a bad thing. You should embrace corporate while corporate is here. Because when corporate is gone, what have you got left? What the fuck have you got to embrace? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck will be left? Natural law? You want to go back to having to kill what you eat? Niggas out. <laughs> Motherfuckers are already doing that out here. Blending corporate work with natural law, if you haven't noticed. These motherfuckers are called corporate cowboys for a reason. Anyways, subscribe to the podcast. It's on Patreon. We'll be putting up episodes soon, maybe even some bonus. I know I've said that a bunch. But a motherfucker's busy. Always. And forever, I'll be busy. Until... Until I drop. Until I get popped. Until my heart stops. You can shoot a donation. There's a cash app set up. There's a Venmo set up. PayPal.me slash corporate cowboys. You want to send something physical? Let's get physical. Send that shit. P.O. Box 3372 Rancho Cordova, California 95741. I'll have that forwarded or intercepted. It'll get to me. Doesn't matter. But you can send all kinds of goodies if you want. Currency, accessories, questionable items, (laughs) questionable (laughs) (laughs) items. Let me jump off this before I get burnt. Have a nice week.